The high school we are exploring today was formerly known as Thomas M. Cooley High School. Constructed in 1927, this school was built to accommodate the rapid growth in Detroit's northwest sector. Within the first few years of its opening, the school taught over 1,500 students. This impressive population would eventually rise to 4,000 students in 1932 making it the largest high school in the city. With its growing population of students, several expansions were made to the school, including the 1,000-seat auditorium in 1930 and the gymnasium as well as pool in 1931. The school was praised for its high GPA and low gang activity. Cooley's High School was ranked as one of the best schools in Michigan for several consecutive years throughout the 1960s to 1970s. By the 1980s, Detroit started to see a downward trend in public schools, and Cooley's would feel this in full effect. From 1983 to 1989, the school's enrollment had fallen from 3,400 students to just 2,500, and in 1997, the high school saw an enrollment of only 1,400 students, the lowest since the school's opening. In 2010, the Detroit Public School Board announced they would be closing 42 schools across Detroit due to budget constraints and declining enrollment. Thomas M. Cooley High School was on that list, officially closing June of 2010, almost a century after its opening. Several failed restoration attempts left the school a forgotten shell of its past. Join us today as we explore what was left behind. This astonishing school was designed by the Donaldson and Meyer architectural firm in Spanish Baroque style with orange brick nested with ornamental terracotta features. Good sheet metal here. Looks like the gas line or electricity in here. Smells like something like good morning. Yeah. Some old lockers here. From the school. Look at the, the top compartment there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, uh, you don't see that everywhere. Line the puddle on the floor here. Do the one for them, just wrecked. Oh, it's all like grimy on the floor. <laughs> Is there anything? Rotting eggs in here. You can see the contents of the kitchen there. Just looks completely picked through. Look at the uh, peely paint there, just on the on the roof, and the cage for all the electrical. There's a stairwell leading to the second story up here. I believe this building is three stories. We'll get uh, get around to that. We just need to check out a little bit more of this lower floor. Looks like a boys' bathroom in here.
some nice painting on the walls here, some artwork. It's like a brick wall with some plants on both sides here. Very neat. Looks like it would have been a nice uh, school at some point. They're very cool pillars here. Look, nice. This school was well built. Mm -hmm. It's very opulent. Mm -hmm. Well, at least the theater. The rest of the school is kind of. It's a music school. <laughs> but but uh, this was the coat room. The coat room? For the theater. Oh. oh very interesting. Mm -hmm. Holy Look at this theater. Mm, 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 mm. Just look at the design put into the poles here. And just the trim. September 29th, 2017. Only two months after we had finished filming this location, a fire was set in this beautiful auditorium, destroying all of the seats and majority of the plaster finish. Do you think the stalls are marble too, or? 2010. All right. We're in this beautiful school in Detroit. In Detroit, on the 4th of July, and there are fireworks going off all around the building. Hello, everybody. It's a very unique experience. This school was probably built in the 30s, I believe. Um, judging by the, the tile work on the floor, which is very much like arts and crafts. So it could be 20s as well, maybe even earlier than that, but all those bangs you hear are fireworks. And I really wasn't going to film this, but I thought, what an interesting experience. Brennan, say hello. How's it going, everybody? This is Brennan. From Uncharted Travel. Yeah, I'm up at him. <laughs> the stairwell's new. This used to be on the outside of the building. Oh, so you think this is, oh, this is part of the addition here. Yeah. So you're going to see we're actually going to get around the roof here, through this uh, door. Maybe we get some fireworks shots. Yep. No, I don't think so. We haven't found the library yet either. What's wrong, Jake? Yeah. Staff with an old. 
I'm like the clumsy explorer. Here's another uh, portion of the elevator. Holy. This is amazing. This library, all the wood here. This would have been where the librarian would have been. Yeah. Look at that ceiling. The ceiling is all gilt, gold Mm hmm. to head upstairs here. Could you imagine what this would have looked like when it was full of books? Sorry? Oh yeah. No, it's okay. Let's head up this. Look at these railings. So, oh, well, this is a fantastic high school. And they just left it here. Abandoned it. Just everything is built with such rich and expensive material. Just absolutely insane the stuff that's in here. Such a beautiful building too. Let's go back down now. This is magnificent. There's no real other word to describe this. It's a conference room in here. Again, with similar shelving. Looks like a little chandelier too. This is insane. Just some general storage in there. Mm -hmm. You can see the I wonder what this is on the ground here. It looks like, almost like roof tile, but the roof isn't that decayed, so. Oh, oh yeah. It's like coating the whole floor. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's old stickers. You're looking at the world's biggest coward. This looks... Oh my god, they have a garbage pail kit sticker. Really? That's how old it is, yeah. Smelly Sal. That's the strongest song. This has got to be from the 80s. Yeah. Oh, Holy, look at this. We just walked into the gym. This place is huge. They've got basketball nets everywhere. Like, actually scattered everywhere. Cooley's was considered to have one of the most successful programs in the history of Michigan interscholastic athletics, with athletes regularly ranking among the city's best. The high school offered a wide range of extracurricular activities including fencing, table tennis, indoor track and field, swimming and diving, speed skating and ice hockey. There's the ropes there. Look at those climbing ropes for uh, the gym class. Heading up to I think where the running track is.
Oh yeah. Can't really see the lanes, but. Throughout its 82 years of operation, Cooley High School housed several famous alumni, including Mike Ilyich, Milt Pappas, Bill Roman, Willie Green, James Hoffa, Barbara Tarbuck, and several other notable figures. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was our abandoned high school video. For those of you that have been following us and wondered where we went, we are now back. Apologies for the long break. We just got so tied up in school and stuff, but now we are back on our grind and we will continue to produce videos for you guys throughout the coming months. If you guys did enjoy the video, please feel free as always to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Let us know what you want to see next in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, that was great, lame ass. That was so good. Thanks, boss. You were the lamest.